What's going on guys? Today I'm a bit more excited about this video. I don't know if it's because of the fact that it was a cleaning video yesterday, which was <laughs> super exciting, or if it's the fact that I just love food, or if it's the fact that I'm going to drink while doing it. He made it, it's fine. Uh, so today I, was, I looked up a recipe and uh, ideally what I'm trying to do is just learn something new, something cheap right now. Oh. Well, look who's joining us. Let's say hi. Let's say bye. He, he's a bit energetic, but that's okay. So, like I was saying, uh, today I'm going to be trying to make something cheap, easy, a little bit better than ramen, but still just ramen. Obviously, I'm gonna make a video about ramen. Uh, you know, college students, why, why wouldn't I make a video about ramen? Because it's just kind of what you expect it, 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 these days. So. Instead of cooking it the normal way, putting it in a, a pot, stirring it up, and waiting for it, and then draining the water, uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is actually I'm just gonna bake it, bake it in this uh, milky, creamy thing, and it's gonna be interesting. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with today. Uh, right now, obviously the ramen. Oh yeah, top ramen. Actually, that's not top ramen. That's American. That's that's American ramen. American ramen. Yep. And of course, great value <laughs> sharp cheddar. Great value broccoli. The uh, none other than your Philadelphia cream cheese. Your Tyson grilled chicken. And also, let's come to the fridge real quick. Hold on a second. Urgh. And we got some milk. I think that's all that's going in. So the idea is that we're supposed to make a cream based sauce out of this and the milk, mix it all together. And so you actually use quite a lot of milk. You use, I think it says four cups in the recipe. And then you put your ramen into that and it, it kind of soaks into it and it makes it, it cooks it while it bakes. So you don't actually have to cook the ramen ahead of time. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm kind of excited. I hope it turns out all right. Other than that, let's cut. All right, so the first thing that I have to do today is actually make the, or cook the chicken. And I'm gonna just cook that up in the pan, maybe season it a little bit. Uh, they say that it's fine to bake it into it, but I really don't want to do that. Um, because it's, it's just a risky, you know, risky business with the chicken. So, let's cook it up real quick. Okay, so I apologize if the audio gets bad here. It probably will because cooking stuff, sizzling sounds. But I'm just gonna drop some chicken on here and add a little bit of water. You know, we're gonna add a little more chicken. So we're gonna make an entire casserole. What I like to do is add a little bit of pepper, and by a little bit, of, I mean like a lot, because it's good flavor. And a little bit of garlic salt. And would I really be New Mexican, or living in New Mexico, if I didn't add a little bit of cumin? Give it that taco flavor. I think that'll work well with the flavoring of the ramen, you know, because it's um, super good. Well, I'm gonna just let this heat up a bit and yeah. So while the chicken uh, simmers, we're going to get the rest of it going.
everything together for us so that we can get everything going. Okay, so the recipe calls for three packs of ramen. I'm gonna make six because um, my pan will fit it, I think. Well, actually, what, why don't we see? Because, I don't know, it should. So the nice thing about the, this recipe is that it only calls for one ramen pack, like of seasoning. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't know about you, but sometimes the ramen seasoning can be a bit much. So here we go, and just one last one. We'll just keep this one on hand. So that's done, right? This is all we gotta do. I'm gonna just throw it in the oven, good to go. No, I'm 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 really just kidding. But I do have to preheat the oven to 350 is what it said. No, it's at 400. Mm. Already knocking over chairs. So it says to, to mix everything up in a medium-sized bowl. Um, I don't trust myself to do that and not spill everywhere. So I got myself a nice large size bowl. All right, so it says it calls for four cups of milk and then cream cheese. So that is one, two, Two and a half. Milk, 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 milk. Ah! That's the first time I did that on the first try. Alright. Here we go. Got the half. Now three. And then a full one. For four. And because I added one more ramen, we'll just add another half cup. Although I'm realizing that. I always take a little bit less. Anyways, okay. And then it calls for cream cheese, and it wants all of this in here, but I want to save some for later. So I'm gonna kind of supplement the rest of it with sour cream. All right. It's my giant bowl of cereal, guys. So let's add, I'd say half of the cream cheese and then maybe like another half. Okay. Don't judge me, this is what it calls for. Okay. Now, now you can start judging me because it doesn't call for this. <laughs> there we go. Don't lose a spoon. We'll just let that sit right in the pan. I mean, you know, yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed to mix this together till it's all nice and together. Oh, the other thing is you add the seasoning packet to this too. All right. This is looking interesting. Smells interesting. If you've ever wanted to mix ramen into your cereal. So I'm imagining this has to be pretty soupy because 
it has to soak into the ramen. Really, really. Oh, it's getting foamy. Foamy milk. Yum, 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 yum. Actually, this is starting to smell kind of good. I might just drink it. Making milkshakes to trick your friends. This is so weird. This is such a weird recipe. I kind of trust it, but like, I don't know. I also don't know if I've mixed everything properly and I don't know how to taste test this. I don't think I want to taste test it. Okay. Uh, uh. Tastes like chives. It's actually not that bad. Okay. All right, so the next part that it said to do was just mix this into the tray with the ramen so I guess here we go I'm just gonna you know what, I'll pour it the other way so you guys can see it get out of here milk as much as I love you here we go ready all right oh, oh god it's chunky oh god it's chunky but it covered the ramen nicely, so I mean, I guess that means that the noodles are gonna cook. Let's get, make sure that everything's at least a little bit wet. Actually, I wonder, no, that's fine. Just shake everything, there we go. Okay, so, I'm beginning to wonder if this recipe is a troll recipe. And they're just like, yeah, go ahead and throw that in the oven and see how it comes out. But, I don't know. They say add cheese to it and then add chicken to it. And I am not against adding cheese. We're going to add it all on top of this. Okay, I'm going to go grab that chicken. it so that you guys can see. Okay, here we go. I'll just throw the chicken into the water. Here we go. go. I think I'm going to cover it with a little more cheese too because I am a cheese fanatic. I lived in Wisconsin for like eight years and not leave the place loving cheese. So at this point, I think the oven's properly preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, so with that, I'm going to put everything that's kind of uh, needing to be in the fridge away, and I'll be right back. So I made it back, and uh, now you kind of see why I wanted to save some of that cream cheese. Uh, yeah. I wanted to have some bagel and cream cheese. <laughs> Just as a pre-game to the the main dish.
give myself something to appetite my appetite with. It's a good bagel. So, how's it going? Okay, so while we're here, um, the casserole has to bake for another 30 to 35 minutes. Um, I really don't know how it's going to turn out. So I'll be back in, I guess, 35. You don't want to hang out for a bit, right? Because, I mean, we could, I mean, I could just sit here and eat all these bagels with this cream cheese and stare at you like, do it. Mm, no. No, I'll be back. So it's done. We'll see how it goes. I just heard some some splashing in the oven that went. Tss. So I'm hoping it wasn't a hoping it wasn't a trick. I say it looks pretty good. You might notice that I added some broccoli into it because um, that's what the recipe called for. I had to do it an emergency broccoli infusion, but it looks pretty good. Now the question is, I wonder if the ramen actually got cooked. So let's take a look at it. You know what, I'd say it wouldn't look, doesn't look too bad. You know what, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, I'm excited to try it, so let me just grab a fork and give it a nice straight out of the oven test. It's gonna be hot, huh? So, I guess I'm gonna just try a piece of chicken. Fucking good. This is all my, always my least favorite part about watching cooking shows is when they would eat it. So I get to at least eat it now. 
I feel bad for you guys because it was actually pretty good. But let's try the ramen. Ramen bit. Uh, and the cheese and the broccoli. That's not bad. For only having one packet of seasoning in it, it, it tastes just right. So, anyways, I'm just gonna eat, man, because this is like it's good and it's done. So.